the uh, 14 millimeter ratchet socket, uh, 14 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter box and wrench for the flange bolts and the shroud bolts. I need a 19 millimeter socket for the flange to fly over. So, oh, we roll it. All right. Well, the easiest thing to do here to put this drive shaft on is to attach it to the crank shaft first. You, yes, using the 19 millimeter bolts. We don't have rotational symmetry on the bolt pattern, so this will only bolt up one to way, one way. So you got to bear that in mind when you're attaching it. The reason we want to do the crank shaft side first is you can rotate the dyno by hand to help you line up this side of the uh, crank shaft and attach it to the dyno with these uh, 14 millimeter bolts. Alright, so after you get the drive shaft bolted up, you want to sit the shroud in place and then attach it using the four uh, hex head bolts. Or, uh, yeah, these guys. These guys right here. Okay, that's not going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to edit this sound out. So that you don't have the shroud on backwards where the bolt holes will not. Precisely. Once once we get the drive shaft bolted up, we need to insert the exhaust into the exhaust fan, like so. And and seal the exhaust and you can just set this off to the side and we're going to flip this side so that the exhaust goes down and not into the other team's dinosaur. Um, now over here we have the pump switch, the oil cooler switch, um, the main power for the dyno, and the dynamo and room exhaust fan system. Boxes right here under this side. The box. Um, we're gonna open this valve fully and if you can see over here this valve fully and then flip these switches on. And that turns on the heat exchanger, fan, and the coolant pump, which is right down here. And once that's on, we're going to use this valve here to throttle the cooling water so that we see this float right here uh, line up to the 40 mark on this gauge. It goes all the way to 100, so we're going to go at 40. That's got to be done with the dyno and the engine running. Right, that's got to be done with the dyno and the engine running. Um, once that's done, it should be set in, in the dyno room and we're ready to go outside. Well, while the engine's in there being worked on, we can go out here and work with this wire mess and see what's going on. Alright, uh, basically this is the uh, AJ software setup. Um, what you're doing first is you turn on these two power strips here. Make sure they are. You turn on this sleeping set. This over here. That one over here. Well, uh, no, what is what? You have to tell them that. Okay. Well, I mean, yes. well, once he comes in the forward. Oh, okay. So after that's turned on. Put on this two edges. Also turn on this. Okay. 
Ning oil. You should have the uh, NIJ hooked up to the uh, parallel port for the back of your laptop. There's a couple more things needs to be uh, turned on back in the You have a star rating. Now you see a star. That means the uh, keeper is in the air, reading the speed, and you can check the uh, light and the switches. All right. After setting yeah. everything up, got to start using the cooling water before you start the engine. This is the valve for the cooling water in the shell. The heat tube. Standard. The heat tube. And the, uh, the exit for this water flow is out behind the door. So you want to make sure that you're not overflowing the little catch can, otherwise, it's very good. So you only have to open the valve partially? Yeah, very, very slightly. Now, on to starting this thing. The fuel fuel valve, make sure this is open. Parallel is open, perpendicular is closed. So we're gonna make sure it's open. Uh, make sure you have fuel right here. Uh, it's kind of tricky to open. Yeah. That's not scary, I'm not gonna here and then pull up. Okay, don't turn it. Procedure, you should do that in your car too. Uh, boost gauge, oil pressure gauge, um, and turn around here, you can see some of the uh, RPM. One of them is engine RPM, one of them is turbo RPM. Show it a little bit later. Um, well, throttle. Open and close the throttle. The battery on the other side. We need power. We have to keep this unhooked. See the negative line here. Keep it unhooked, otherwise the battery will run down. And before we start it, we'll lay that on top. You don't have to tighten it down or anything. Just lay. And that power is the starter, so you can turn it over. Actually, turn it over. You can come here now. Cool. Be sure that that is with the turbo team. So we have to make sure that their side is closed. Here. The same with the fuel valve. Perpendicular is closed. Open and parallel. So this is closed. This is closed. These two go to this cell. And all well, the rest of the stuff over here is for us. We want to make sure that this valve is open. This valve right here. 
and then the dyno operator is going to press dyno on right here. And when he does that, the person holding the throttle needs to keep the throttle at wide open throttle, and the dyno operator is actually going to bring the RPM down using this button. It's going to change the active RPM to 25, 24, 23, 22, 21 until it quits down. And when it quits pulling down, hit dine off. And then the person inside the engine room can slowly let the engine come down for a full throttle. And we'll show you that when we run it. In a period of warm up, you may do such things as wasting time playing Counter Strike. Hey, you watch Masters at all? Who? Masters, the ball tournament? No, I don't like to play golf, so I don't have to watch Masters. Is that Tiger Lost the lead? How long have you ever had the team? Dino teams. Yeah, 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 Dino teams. This cat will probably still be here. Um, when you run the uh, engine, just make sure that the, the spotlight, is, there's, there's not too many spotlight that shines directly on the turbo. Or else, you want to have, if you have too much light, it's going to read up the engine box. It's going to be an error. And uh, it's actually going to be like 44,000 RPM times 3, which is not right. Um, also, sometimes you have to hold the light because when, we, when you load the engine with the dyno, it shoots the engine and jerks the uh, light off position. So, if the light, the, the heat as the air comes up when you run the engine, just have somebody in there holding the light. This is our faithful uh, throttle man. Give us a thumbs up, throttle man. <laughs> right now he's bringing up he's bringing up the engine RPM unloaded.